There are so many weekend festivities happening all weekend long. I feel like that's the theme of our show today. The fall you know, festivals. Getting you ready for the weekend. So yes. In Prestonsburg, Jenny Wiley Days, a celebration of early pioneer America and the big Sandy Valley. In addition, Wayne is hosting a fall harvest festival and Mate Juan has its annual homecoming gathering. So plenty to do. Yeah, in every little part of our region. So to get you set for the fun and fanfare, Tony Cavalier has this look back at two of his favorite fall festivals. There's a tribute to life in rural America this weekend that's all about history. The Bob Evans Farm Festival is celebrating 50 years of entrepreneurial and patriotic inspiration from founders Bob and Jewel Evans. So entering the hallowed homestead grounds is akin to traveling through a time tunnel. I knew him very well and he'd stop in and he'd serve breakfast. Jewel was always there with him and the family. It was just an opportunity. You just always felt at home when you visited with them. A lot of like businesses going on because Bob Evans, he turned his farm into a way for people to make money. That's the American way, isn't it? Yeah. Since Bob loved animals, show and tell demos are a staple to mentor future farmers. Learning how to shave a you going to be down on the farm? Are you going to be a farmer someday? Yes, I want to be a farmer someday. With multiple stages in use, one can hop between the taps and motion cloggers from Kentucky and the soothing gospel music sounds of the fiddling Putnams from West Virginia. For the kids, hay rides and a state fair caliber Ferris wheel offer a festive fall feel. In the tented village, shoppers can browse between high-end crafts and vintage coffee brews. And of course, the culinary delights of autumn are there for the taking. And thanks, onions, salt, pepper, and white navy beans. Is that what Jewel and Bob would have served at the homestead way back? Yep, way back. Have sweet apples like a Gold Delicious or a Gala or a tart apple like a John of Gold. John of Gold is a Jonathan Gold Delicious cross that's a little bit tart. Uh, great for pies and work just eat fresh out of hand. It's going on all weekend long down on the farm in Rio Grande, Ohio. So lots of history at the Bob Evans Farm Festival and a history of a different sort is made every third weekend in October in Spencer where the Black Wana Festival hosts schools from across the state come in in order to compete at the high school competition at the stadium. But before then there's the job of marching down Black Wana Avenue and past Courthouse Square during the Black Wana Festival Parade. Let's take a look at the 2017 performances. The bells chimed proudly in downtown Spencer on Saturday. The Black Walnut Festival drawing a zealous crowd to Courthouse Square. So they lined the area near the historic Roby Theater in spots four and five deep to get a look at their favorite patriotic band. They also came to celebrate our farmers and the Black Walnut Harvest, a staple of early American life in central West Virginia. This is their day to celebrate Rome County's history. For the Boy and Girl Scouts, a perfect harmony that we can all take a lesson from. The Boy Scouts that get influenced with other genders, and I think it's great for the Girl Scouts to get different experiences. I think they should because Boy Scouts can do a lot more. As a bevy of queens floated down Black Walnut Avenue, word spread quickly that Spencer's own Casey Lassiter is the newly crowned Miss West Virginia USA. Definitely crazy. I'm so excited to be back in my hometown for my first appearance. With more than 100 units, the festival parade has become a showcase for civic, church, and youth groups that hold the promise of a bright future. Thank you. Are you afraid of that woman there, that zombie? <laughs> For the renowned Ripley Viking marching band, another chance to salute what is still good in America. Ripley's band love it, loves coming to Spencer for the Black Walnut Festival. It's like a big family party every year. The band was fantastic. It's what makes small town America still a great place to live. Tony Cavalier, WSAZ News Channel 3, Spencer. Okay, we added a kitchen over here. So right. Tony adds, if you're going to the homestead in Rio Grande, bring your appetite, lots of down on the farm food to feast on. Yeah, and as for the Black Walnut Festival uh, Parade, there will be 20 marching bands, so a comfortable chair is a good idea because this is a long one and it's a really great parade. Okay, and of course, Chili Fest. <laughs>
<laughs> happening tomorrow. Yes. So we're going to kind of start Touching getting prepared. On. Well, I decided because last year when Taylor and I did this, we were starting from scratch over there uh, when, under our tent. And I'm like, why don't we start prepping today? Yeah. So get a head start. Doing. And she's out. She's off today. So, so we're kind of helping help everyone. Um, we are using a recipe. One of our, our favorite cooks who stops by all mm -hmm. the time, Janet McCormick, stops in and gives us 10-minute meal recipe ideas. She, she gave us uh, a recipe to use and maybe tweak a little bit. And of course, it's two pages long. So <laughs> Lots that's of ingredients. And we're starting today. So it does. And what we're doing, we're doubling our recipe. And I did talk to Tim. I know that he and Nicholas are going to double their recipe. So we will have it ready by 1 o'clock tomorrow if you want to stop by and sample because we have a little fun with this. It's kind of a, a it's little just for bragging rights. Right. Oh, no yes. Fries and there will be a little. Um, at the at the WSAZ tent, you could yep. write who you think should win in like almost like a fishbowl type thing yep. that you put in. Taylor and Susan or Tim and um, Nicholas. Nicholas. So yeah. I'm chopping up some red peppers. Okay, because originally it called for one, but I went ahead and threw in another. I raided my kitchen uh, cabinet to see what spices I have, and it looks like I need to grab a few more before tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're okay. So is this spicy, do you think, the, the recipe? What did I think it is going to be spicy uh -huh. because look at one of the ingredients here. This is something oh. I never use. Tabasco. Tabasco sriracha sauce. Woo! I have never used that in my life, but gonna bring the heat, to Susan. Tomorrow, uh, but there's also some brown sugar. Ooh, and that's some a bacon. unique one. Yeah, so I like that idea too. So I do have to tell you all the it's the 40th annual yes. um, Chili Fest. So yesterday on midday, you know Rob Johnson has been here. Um, for years and years and years and I asked yeah. him, Rob, have you been to pretty much every chili fest if it's 40 years, <laughs> you know, in the making? He and he said, has. he thinks, you know, I kind of put him on the spot, but he said pretty much he remembers going back in the day, mm -hmm. but he has a picture and he couldn't, you know, find it. And I told him we need to show this, um, hopefully next year during Chili Fest yeah. week, that one of the first early on Chili Fest down on 3rd Avenue, they didn't even close right. the street down. Mm -hmm. And there was a card table set up on the sidewalk. <laughs> That's really fancy. And a pot of chili on it for the WSAZ uh -huh. chili. So I would love to see that. I know Rob was going to look for it. Uh -huh. um, and I just think it would it'd be kind of unique to look back at all the it's Chili Fest past, mm -hmm. especially from way back in the day that, um, yeah. you know, that people now would it love to see that. so much. And as we've talked about on the show this week, it's a big fundraiser for the Ronald McDonald mm -hmm. House. And that's what, um, so back, it's 40 years old, the Chili Fest, but 36 years ago is when uh, Ron Smith, a longtime board member at Ronald mm -hmm. McDonald House, started um, the idea to actually put the proceeds over to Ronald McDonald House. And I think they told us the other day they've raised over the years 800 and some thousand dollars mm -hmm. for Ronald McDonald House. Um, and those... It's already smelling spicy. Ooh, what was that? <laughs> Cumin. Oh. oh, it always adds a kick. Yes. And the chili that Ron Smith had on First Look of Four yesterday, mm -hmm. um, I mean, he is Mr. Chili Fest he really himself. Is. But you guys said it was pretty spicy at the end. It was. It wasn't at first, mm -hmm. but it had a kick that kicked in a little bit later because. You're like, whoa. I, I mean, my sinuses really opened up <laughs> uh, during First Look at Four yesterday. But um, I, again, the Chili Fest uh, tomorrow, it's fun because you're going to be able to taste world-class competition chili. Like yours, world-class. Yeah, right. well, I don't know about that. And also a lot of local businesses and organizations will be there. The yes. firefighters, they always. They go big. They do. They do. Uh, it up that's big. a big thing for yeah, the firefighters. So you can taste theirs. We're going to have at our WSAZ booth the chili in a bag mm -hmm. uh, where it's over Fritos. And then... The Studio Three Gals against First Look at Four Guys. Uh -huh. Stop by until our supply runs out, but that'll start yeah. at one o'clock tomorrow. Okay, anyway. and everyone, rain or shine. Chili yeah. Fest is rain or shine. Yeah. Pack an umbrella just in case, and maybe a jacket because it might be a little chillier than we've yeah, been seeing. Yeah, stop by and say hi to us. Yeah, definitely. Looking good. I'm trying. <laughs> Don't want to let you guys down. <laughs> Thank